Hello, so um, welcome to new video. So today we uh, will do some plots of our networks, power system networks. Uh, power system is really complicated network. It's an interconnected network. So it would be very easy if we uh, get a clear plotting of the uh, parameters like borders labels, uh, power flows, uh, angles, and so on. So let's get started. So I have a data of a European low voltage distribution system and uh, you can get that data openly from the IEEE website. Uh, I will give the link in the description of the data for download. But the data should be reprocessed uh, to be computable with the PyPSA and that computable code will also be provided in the description and let's get started first you have to import PyPSA and import uh, for plotting we are going to use matplotlib library of python that is matplotlib.pyplot as plt and uh, for, uh, for the projection system or you will provide the coordinates for the bus because the bus are distributed in the geographical areas in different coordinate system so according to your coordinate system you have to import that coordinate uh, in, 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 in before you plot okay so for the projection system uh, we will use the cartopy cartopy uh, library so card to be card to be dot uh, that is CRS as let's say CRS okay so it's the coordinate actually it handles the projections okay different projections now, for example a projection is uh, the uh, uh, marker projection yes UTM projection and so on and uh, for okay this time uh, another uh, is we use a magic command in Jupyter notebook for our is plots so mat plot leave inline okay so let's run this and uh, let's initialize the network it goes to pypsa dot network okay network and uh, we can import that network so network dot import uh, from from csv folder and the csv folder name is so what is the name of the csv folder I have to check it that so it's a csv folder okay so csv folder make sure that your program file and uh, your folder location in the same same folder okay so let's import that so it has been already imported the data has been imported so let's check it out the boss location we have to provide the location of the boss in the uh, in our boss okay, network buses for example net work dot process so it would keep the the coordinate there are altogether 906 uh, bosses with a source bus that is altogether 907 bosses and each bosses has its coordinate location okay so actually the data is originally given in the utm coordinate system but i have reprojected it on the different projection system that would be compatible with the plate care projection system so the all the data would be given to the descript description you can get the data from there so this is the same thing bosses actually this is a distribution system low voltage distribution system and it's a nominal voltage of uh, 412 but as transformer has fed it from 11 kb to the whole uh, distribution system mostly the distribution system is really a type of distribution system okay so for simple plot we will do network dot plot if we do this it will plot a simple network the network coordinates with bosses 
lines in the uh, in the plot okay so this is a simple way of the plotting but uh, what if we need we uh, require to plot the different voltage labels or the power flows or even the load distribution or the generator distribution and so on so this is showing me a blank photo or s simple photo so what is the problem actually the problem is about the uh, size of the bosses so by default the size of the bosses is taken something like 1 or 1.5 so you can take it on the documentation but it would be very it could be very large so we have to change the size of that boss okay so boss uh, underscore sizes equals to let's say take a very small value 0 0.0002 and if I plot, still it is showing very small. It is, actually, it's, it's blank screen. So if I add more, so it's doing well. So if I add a bit more values, so it's showing something there. Okay, so this is the plot of the network. Okay, altogether there are 907 bosses and uh, lines also. So this is the simple distribution network. Uh, the dots are showing as the boss location, and the these lines are the transmission lines. Okay. So this is a simple plot. Okay. And uh, mm, but wh what if uh, if I want to see want to see the load distribution in the network? So I have to specify the only loads in the bosses. Okay. So for that. I would do something uh, different so for this uh, let's uh, this plot is a bit small okay so I want to plot this on the matplotlib figure so let's begin a figure it's a figure and axis so plt dot subplots and uh, I just want to plot up only you know one row and one column and I have to specify the projection system here. Okay, so projection system in the network dot plot it itself by default set the projection system as a uh, plate care projection system. But if I have to specify the external subplot, then I have to specify a projection system. So for that, uh, I have to write subplot subplot underscore kw equals uh what's the what is the projection projection would be it's a dictionary you have to specify in the dictionary so and uh it's the crs the imported one that crs dot the projection system that the coordinate system is plate uh, care okay so this will specify the projection system here and uh, next step is to let specify the size figure dot set size uh, let's say in inches uh, let's say 9 by 9 okay and uh, I want to see only load distribution so so what where, where are the load are distributed in the whole network so let's say let's take loads okay so loads will be our will be the network dot uh, loads actually the loads are stored in actually I want to make another and let's say network loads okay so actually I have specified a time series data of the loads okay so it has almost uh, 1440 time steps of the loads for the hourly load data yes so for that let's check it out so okay so there are lots of there are altogether 55 loads and uh, reactive loads and active loads in each in different bosses and the size of the loads are distributed in different bosses of different sizes so if I want to check a particular timestamp okay for particular timestamp 
I have to check a particular timestamp there. Okay, so let's check out the load distribution and uh, let's say the active power. Okay, dot p underscore set. So for different time stamp for different loads, these are the name of the loads. Okay, and uh, these are the time stamp and I want to check a particular time stamp. So for selecting the row in pandas, I will do lock and uh, I have to check the snapshot okay for the network dot snap socks so you can see in snapshot you have the timestamp so you're gonna take location network dot snap such so snapshot of let's say of three yes so if I select this it will show the timestamp of four timestamp okay four timestamp and these are the loads name and this is the uh, what is the load distributed what is the value of that load in particular timestamp so this is the value of that loads and uh, what I do is loads would be uh, let's copy this and paste there simply control X and it's control p okay so it is defining with the loads but the loads are connected in the bus and we have to plot uh, in the network in terms of the buses because the coordinates are given for only buses so for that and more thing and that a single bus could also contain the number of loads okay loads could be different or several loads could be connected in the same bus so what we do is we have to group those loads in terms of the bosses so for that we have group by uh, it's a pandas command so network panda data frame command group by what in terms of bosses so network dot uh, sorry network dot loads dot boss okay what is the location of the bus of that particular load and what we do is after grouping those loads in a particular bus I want to sum up the whole load in the uh, in, in in that particular bus. So what I do is dot sum. So this command would, if I run this uh, command, okay, this just initialize the uh, figure. So if I check loads, then it would show me the location of bus here and the value of the total loads on that particular bus. Okay the very simple so next step is to define that we have to plot the network but um, it's a bit tricky here what we do is let's uh, plot the network network dot plot I want to specify only the loads here I don't want to show all the bosses but only load bosses and the uh, okay let's take that so boss size would be boss size would be what uh, it would be a very small value so 0 0.00002 let's say let's take this times uh, what would be load distribution load sorry not load distribution that's simply loads okay so loads and uh, the axis of the plot would be the ax would be the ax actually we have already set up the axis for the plotting okay so if I run this okay this is a very beautiful picture here so what this is going to show here is the uh, loads of different values of the particular timestamp are connected in this way okay so you can see the all the bosses are not connected with the loads actually there are very large number of the bosses there but all the bosses are not connected with the loads okay so this is the simply load distribution if I want to set the title then I would say title equals to load distribution okay so the simply load distribution and another thing I want to specify is this this part is uh, a different color has different color and this is the transformer link okay all the other 
lines are the transmission lines but this is the transformer link okay so you can check the documentation for different default colors for the different power system components in the 5PSA okay so this is quite interesting now let's do a power flow and uh, check out the distribution of voltage labels in different uh, buses okay so for that for that okay it, it's gonna take time so okay i will do it on next video okay thank you for today video you you're gonna practice this for different values and i will provide the data in the description okay uh, thank you in upcoming video i will i will show you how to plot the uh, for these distributions in the different